Tasting Like a Boss Outside Edition. I have Dustin Henderson who's going to help us review today. How you doing, Dustin? Good, good boy. His eyes look all crazy because it's dark out. Anyway, so what are we doing today, boys and girls? Well, you've already saw it on the tag, obviously. We're going to be doing Wonder Bones. There you go. This is a salted pretzel flavor by Bones Coffee Company. I've never had this before but it's one of the ones they call their fall flavors, so I decided I would try it. Now, I can tell you, um, do I need a salted pretzel coffee in my life? I didn't even think about it. I don't know if I do, uh, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of neat, and uh, looking forward to giving it a shot. Now, giving it a smell, I can tell you already, it's it smells like salted pretzel. Uh, it really does smell like salted pretzel. And when you brew it, the house smells like salted pretzel. Uh, and even when you cold brew it, you can smell it off the cold brew. It definitely has that smell. So if that's what you want. If you want a cool cover and you want something that smells like salted pretzel, well, you're already there, right? But that's all we're here to do. We're doing it the coffee three-way review. I've got the cold brew here. I've got the drip in the bones mug. And we went back to the Taylor Swift for the espresso. So let's get right into it, smelling the cold brew. Like I said, usually cold brews don't give off a lot of smell. This still smells like salted pretzel. So tasted like a boss, cold brew. Come here, Justin, you wanna be a part of this? Okay, here we go. It's good. I'm not sure if I taste pretzel, but it's like, uh, you know, when you uh, combine salt, sea salt with chocolate and it pulls out flavors, that's kind of what's going on here as far as the salt taste for me, is that it's enhancing the flavor of the coffee. But I'm not sure if I really taste the pretzel, although, you know, when you think about it, pretzel is just dough and really when you think about salt so I mean it's, it's good so I like it uh, at the same time it's salty so if you want something to taste salty there you go so it's a thumbs up I'm not sure if it's gonna be my favorite I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it again just for cold brew but it's interesting enough so it's thumbs up there let's move to the drip Hey, what you doing? What you seeing? What are you seeing? She you seeing a frog? Probably. Okay, now this. This smells like salted pretzel. Like you smell like like the bready dough, the pretzel, and the salt. It smells really good. All right. Let's give it a taste. Here's the drip. Oh, yeah. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, I like I like this more in the drip actually. I'm not sure if I taste the pretzel aspect, but there's the coffee with a little bit of salt there, and not overly powerful. Like on the cold brew, the salt taste is it's not so extreme, but it's it's there. Here, it's a little more hidden but pleasant. I think it's more pleasant than the cold brew, and that smell, you know. Ugh. That smell will make you think of, you know, salted pretzel. So if I got this black, I would think, oh, this smells like salted pretzel and it tastes salty, salted pretzel. I would put the two together. I can tell you, boss of boss, my wife didn't really care for this so much. Um, she's uh, asked me to get off the bones flavors for a little bit. She wants something a little more standard for the next couple of days. So I guess I'll blame Wonder Bones for that. That pushed her over the edge. Although she did say if she could get the chocolate mole, the frog's breath, that'd be okay. So she's not anti-bones. Now let's move to the espresso. I'm worried about this one. Here we go. Tastes like a boss. Oh, wow. Mmm. Not sour. Tastes like an espresso with salt. Uh, connected to it. Don't really, hey Dustin, I don't know if I think this smells or tastes like pretzel, but it definitely, definitely is like espresso with a little bit of salt, which surprisingly, 
it's quite good. It's different. Okay, well, well, let's go back through it. Uh, as far as an espresso goes, yeah, I, I don't know if you told someone, would you like a salted pretzel espresso? They'd get that. He may give them something and say, here's a little something a little different. Uh, it's got a little salt to it. What do you think? They'll probably like it. Uh, so from the novelty side of things, it's it's something I would do. So it works as an espresso. In the drip? Really works on the drip. You know, again, not a creamy flavor, uh, not a sweet flavor. This is just coffee with salt. And for whatever reason, it, it, it works. Cold brew coming back to it. I'm glad I tried it. Probably not going to put it in my normal rotation. So, still another good solid flavor, uh, but it probably will occupy my shelf again. Uh, not because I dislike uh, salted pretzels or anything. It's just, uh, I guess the answer to the question is this do I need a salted pretzel flavor in my personal life? I, I do not. I do not. Okay, so from Dustin and I. Hey, hit like, hit subscribe. We got another flavor coming up this week. Then we're going to be moving off the Bones flavor for a little bit, trying something cool I'm really excited about. So, again, keep tasting like a boss. Keep tasting like a boss. Your eyes look possessed. Look at that. Free. Happy Halloween.